Health Minister Jack Snelling has apologised to patients forced to wait in corridors in the state's struggling health system. New figures show hospitals are still failing to meet targets on waiting times and they're getting worse. Time-lapse footage shows the new Royal Adelaide slowly taking foundation, but budget papers reveal too much time is still elapsing for emergency patients. Benchmarks for acceptable wait times fell 10% short of target, a worse result than the previous year. So the targets we're trying to Will you meet are them? trying to meet. Will you uh, meet oh, them? we'll certainly do everything we can. Timely care for urgent patients had also declined, and even in emergency cases, waiting times have worsened. The government's always trying to spin that uh, things are improving in our hospitals, but uh, at the coalface, that's certainly not the case. In the nature of a modern hospital system, is there are times when it's under enormous demand. Last night was such a time with the Royal Adelaide forced to shift patients into corridors to create room for new admissions. I mean, I'm very sorry that uh, people have, have, been, have, have to uh, uh, been um, shifted. The opposition blames administrative waste with health's troubled IT system gobbling up precious funds. A $40 million blowout in the management of that particular project. The government remains in dispute with the consortium building the hospital over the cost of remediating the site. The consortium thinks taxpayers should foot the clean-up bill. Well, they do, and I, I don't agree with that. But no one's putting a figure on it yet. We continue to collect the information associated with remediation. That will take some time. Tom Richardson, 9 News.